Hey, how's it going you guys? Welcome back to the channel and for today's video, it's just one of those videos where you wish that you would never have to make, but unfortunately it is what it is. So let me go and show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that my Forrester was recently vandalized and by vandalized, I meant that it was keyed. And you can see from the video here, it was actually keyed all the way from the rear tail lights all the way to the front tail lights. And unfortunately, for some reason, they also went through my American flag, which was very unfortunate because I just got that flag about two weeks ago and I really liked it. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, one of the first things that I thought about was that it may have been politically driven because of the American flag. However, go ahead and take a look at this footage here as well. So this vehicle right here is actually my roommate's vehicle. And you can see here just how messed up it is. They really took their time to key this vehicle. So it's just, that just really goes to show you guys how really fucked up they are in their head. However, with that vehicle being key, that's not the end of the story. It is a developing story at the moment, so I don't wanna to say too much. I really do doubt that the corporate's gonna be watching this video, but the night that my vehicle got keyed, there was actually more vehicles in the neighborhood that got keyed as well. Well, so let me go and show you guys some more footage of which cars got keyed. And for those vehicles that it's hard to see on a GoPro, I'm gonna just go ahead and point out where they got keyed. And as you can see, it's just really fucked up to see that much vehicles being keyed. However, it is a developing story. Like I said before, I don't wanna say too much. I will be making update videos whenever it's appropriate. So if you do wanna follow that, be sure to subscribe. Aside from that, let's go ahead and bring it back to the Forester itself. Now I know for sure a lot of you guys are gonna say that it's gonna buff right off. I promise you guys, it's not gonna come off that easily. It is all the way to your primer, unfortunately. But in light of this YouTube channel and trying to be more positive, this may be a good opportunity to kind of mess around and see what methods may able to help alleviate the look of those scratches. So I'll be borrowing tips and tricks from YouTubers like Chris Fix and really just spending some hours and trying to figure out what method is the best. But at the end of the day, I'm really not too worried about the scratch itself just because it is my off-roading vehicle. I purposely got it to go outdoors and get a beat up. So like I said, not really too worried about that. If you do have any tips and tricks or hacks that you think may be helpful, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will definitely look at them. If it sounds like it might work, I will definitely try it just to see what I can really do for this. At the end of the day, even though it is daily driver, I'll be honest with you guys, I am still pretty pissed off just because that person had the audacity to go around and key my car and other people's cars in the middle of the night. You know, we just have to see if the justice system would do its job. But really, that is the end of the video. Nothing really too much to it. I just want to update you guys, especially the people who do follow me on Instagram. It's still developing, so as soon as I get more information in and whenever it's appropriate, I will be releasing a bit more information about the case itself. And hopefully we do get the culprit, even though when we do, I don't think we, there's much that we can do, considering the fact that the current suspects are believed to be under 18. So I don't really think there's much we can do, but let's hope for the best. I would say if you have kids, teach your kids how to behave and honestly teach your kids how to respect each other's property. And if you know or suspect that your kids are responsible for things like this, own up to it. You guys are adults own up to their shit. And that's really the end of my spiel. So if you do want to see what happens next to the XT or maybe even the Civic, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.